by affiliate is that we have a biological inclination to affiliate with the natural world that's been instrumental in our physical and mental development. I think we've become so separated from the natural world that what we need to do is recognize how much our experience of nature enhances our physical and mental and spiritual capacity and try to incorporate that into our lives. I felt just very, very lucky in life to have had Tap Tapley as the main trip leader on my first Knowles course. There was no distinction between male and female or could or couldn't or weakness or strength. Everyone was on equal footing. TAP as trip leader probably had a whole heck of a lot to do with that. Everybody held their own uh, as much as they possibly could. And if they couldn't, then uh, the group would support the weakest link. Jim and Bart, when they were young Buck Knowles instructors, were the big hunters. They emulated TAP. And so when we went on this trip 25 years later, they found a lobster. And <laughs> all four of us were just kind of like, well... You do it. No, you I, no, do it. You do no, it. you do it. <laughs> Finally, we let the lobster loose. <laughs> My wife died recently of cancer. She had 10 years uh, of uh, an illness, which she required uh, a lot of care. So you, you have to care for the caregiver. You have to, you have to refresh your own spirit if you're going to try to help someone else. And of course, at times with that kind of an illness, you get worn out. And for me, it was always to get back out into the outdoors. 20 feet was the maximum I ever dove. You can ask stories about Tap about how deep he could dive because he, he dove into holes that I, I could never imagine going down. I, I don't know 40, if it's true. 50. 40, 50, and maybe even more than 50 feet, uh, they would go down, he and Manuel. Uh, we never even planned anything for dinner. We just always planned for Tap to go out and shoot a snapper, which would be about this big and feed about 15 people. And uh, it, he never failed. I mean, every single time he would come back with a huge snapper. The last year I was at Colorado Academy in the woodshop. Tap was building a sailboat the whole time, the whole year. And I said, what are you going to do with this? And he said, I'm going to put it on the back of my Jeep and drive down to the Gulf of Mexico and see what I can see. Tap was not a didactic instructor, and he would be the role model. Uh, and if you watched carefully what he did and how he did it, you would learn an immense amount from being around him. Watching Tap get up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, just to go out in the back of the house and build a little campfire and sit around and make his hot cocoa in the morning. This guy has just such a wonderful feeling about the wilderness and about being outdoors and just loves the sunrises every morning that he just wants to be in it. I mean, if you took the field of biology, I wouldn't think you'd necessarily find a greater degree of enlightenment than, than any other field. There's a lot of biologists who are just as narrow and reductionist as any other field. But there are certainly a group of biologists, but a group of architects and a group of uh, any field, writers, painters, you know, who recognize that by enhancing our connection to nature, it's we can actually enrich and expand the quality of our lives in so many different ways.